What's up fellow Minecrafters, in today's tutorial we're going to be checking out how we can add a player kit plugin to your server so you can easily set kits, edit kits, delete them and manage the whole kit system. So first let's go through installation, this is only going to take a minute if you use Multicraft, simply stop your server, come to files and then go to the plugins list. Make sure that you have spigot selected and then you're going to search for player kits plus. If you want to do this manually you can also get this straight from spigot by then using this link over here or searching it up on spigot using the download button and then adding it to your plugins folder on your server. As you can see as of currently it's up to 1.20 so it seems to be updated fairly recently and the commands and permissions are very easy. We'll be going through them shortly. So first of all I'm simply going to install the plugin again this is only going to take a few seconds once we do install it we just want to return back to the server page and then start the server back up and that's all that it's going to take for installation so with that let's join the server and let's go through some of the commands and permissions first of all if you're not sure what the difference is between commands and permissions commands are things that you can do in game for instance i can do a create kit command permissions is going to be what you set to what player for instance i'm an admin so i get all the permissions however other players might not be admins for this you install plugin like lucky perms and then you can give the permissions according to the groups Permissions are good if you have um, admins, moderators, or you simply want to give your normal players um, some slightly different abilities to this plugin. For instance, you might want to give your players the ability to delete a kit. I probably wouldn't recommend that, but if you did want to, you're simply going to put that into their group on luck perms, and the same with any other permission. So, now back on how to use the plugin, and first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to fill up the inventory with what you actually want the kit to have. So, let's start very minimalistically here with, um, you know, your pickaxe, your axe, and then the golden apple. To create this as a usable kit we can first of all do a forward slash create kit then we're going to be thinking of a kit name. Let's name this starter kit as it's going to be a starter kit. Another thing if you press spaces it's going to ask you for the time in seconds that is the cooldown. So if you want people to be able to use this every minute we're going to put this as 60 seconds and if you wanted to do a whole day I'm not going to do the calculations for you but you know obviously make sure to count how many seconds is in a day and then add in your time. Either way that's going to be how long it's going to be between um, somebody can use the command somebody can use it again. So let's add 10 seconds as we're doing a test. So this means that I can do this command to get this kit every 10 seconds. The command to actually get the kit is going to be kit and then the name of the kit. So here we have starter. If I press it, we're now going to double up on everything. We can also do another um, cool command, which is show kit. Press space and then go for the kit that you want to show. It also brings you up with this really cool uh, GUI inventory of which you can actually change stuff. So first of all here, you've shown it, but you can also claim it from here. Obviously, it's been 10 seconds, so we should be able to claim it now. Another option um, is to change the timer for it. Currently, the timer is 10 seconds. And you can also delete it from this screen as well. Now, if I X out, you can also do a delete kit so for instance i might want to get rid of the default one because that's not the one that i want on here so we've now deleted that kit now let's say that you actually want to change the kit so you've decided that you still want it to be the starter kit but you want to make a small change so let's put our small change over here let's put um, golden apple i'm going to put slightly different pickaxe and axe now if we do a forward slash set kit and then we set it as the name that we want to replace or edit the other kit with we're going to press starter and this is now edited the starter kit to actually be this so if i do kit starter we're going to double up and it's not going to be the old items yes very cool and very easy now there is stuff like um reset cooldown which you can do um such as this you can actually do the command however what i like to do is i actually like to do the show kit and um, you can change the timer from here if you want to so guys thanks for watching for any more questions make sure to leave them down in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video Bye bye